I don't want to crawl through stinking sewers just to get into the museum. There must be another way. Hmm. Maybe I can fish something out of the sewer with the wire. Nothing. I can't even touch the bottom. It was worth a try. With a bit of imagination, you could call the bent tip a hook. With a bit of imagination. Jack of all trades. What's this? Wow, nice. I'm afraid the painter discarded the overalls because he didn't want to walk around in sweat-soaked clothes all day. Ugh. But what the heck, I have no choice. A handsome man always looks good, and the disguise works. Next attempt. The museum is closed today. Come back tomorrow. Or are you one of the craftsmen? Of course I'm a craftsman. All right. Hamitz, hamitz, hamitz. Your company is not on the list. Can't we come to an agreement? I have a job to do here. So do I, and it's simple. Don't let anyone into the museum if they don't have any business here. But my boss said... Well, who wants to become an accomplice in a burglary? Yes, who wants to be an accomplice? What are you doing? Come here, you... Stay away, you flea bag. Next time I'll wring your neck, even if it costs me my job. You made yourself an enemy, pup. <laughs> Next time.
the hell? Ah! This is my chance. Weren't you just here? I talked to my boss again. He said we must be on the list. Your boss can come and see for himself. There is no Hamid's. Uh-huh. Mm. My co-worker's handwriting. I can hardly make out a single word. Hamid's, Hamid's, Hamid's. Ah, yes. Here. Here, put this on. Ah, many thanks. The author's companion. She seems to be waiting for something. Maybe she's waiting for the safe too. Huh. I wouldn't have thought she'd be so interested in the jewel. The eye hasn't taken its place in the treasure chamber yet. I'd better not show my face there. The room is under video surveillance. I better stay away from her. There's always a risk that someone observant might recognize me, and I bet that the lady is a very good observer. Imhotep. Got the blueprints. And since I'm a craftsman, it won't seem suspicious if I study them. Here's the treasure chamber. There's another room beneath it. And here's the entrance, somewhere near the statue. And there seems to be another entrance that... What are you doing there? Huh? Oh, it's you. What's going on? And what happened on the ship? Everything is all right. I was able to stop the doctor. What happened to him? Inch. You mean he... There was nothing I could do. And he won't even tell me his plan. I'm supposed to get these blueprints and open a secret entrance to the basement beneath the treasure chamber. A basement under the treasure chamber? I didn't know about that before. Inch somehow heard about it, and Mr. X took care of the rest. What's he planning? I don't know. I don't like it. Me neither. The blueprints show the basement below the treasure chamber, and two entrances. One of them is over there, but it seems to be closed. And the other? It's on the roof, and there are stairs from an attic down to the basement. And how are you supposed to get into the attic? Huh, <laughs> that's the question. There's a small triangle here on the roof with three numbers next to it. Three, six, and two. Some kind of code. I'll have a look around. It'll be okay. I wish I had your confidence. It's time for the grand finale. Don't you agree? Take care of yourself. You too. A plan always seems much easier when you're just talking about it, doesn't it? Yes, but not half as exciting. Okay, I have to open the door to the basement. Let's go. The secret entrance to the basement must be behind the statue. It's well disguised. Otherwise, it wouldn't have gone undetected for decades. I can't see anything. No cracks, 
No handle? I won't be able to open the door from this side. I'll try to get in through the roof, then take the stairs to the basement and have a go from inside. I can't see any. Why does Inch want to get inside? And how will he get into the treasure chamber from there? The secret blueprints for the museum show a basement below the... One entrance is in the main hall. The second... Do it. The secret passage is somewhere around here on the blueprints. Very. Maybe this one. Uh -huh. Huh. Strange. Maybe the order is wrong. Huh. Huh. Aha. 
Aha! There we go. The digits are written from right to left. In this part of the world, they read from right to left. <laughs> I'm in the museum. Well, sort of. Old technical equipment. Inch said something about an underground that operated here in the museum during the war. Could have been a radio installation. That's tar paper, I think. Maybe it's recovering all those holes in the roof. A big heavy roll. The electrical cables don't seem like they were meant to be permanent. Probably, they secretly tapped the museum's electricity. Maybe the bulb still works. There's enough light shining through the holes in the roof. According to the blueprints, the stairs lead from the attic down to the secret basement. in here. Here we go. I think it's nothing. I don't need artificial light up here, but it had come in handy in the basement. It doesn't make sense to just take the bulb. I didn't even see a socket in the basement. A big heavy roll of rough tar paper. Here we go. I think it's nothing. The lamp was removed. You can still see the holes that this, the cable was cleanly severed. I could connect the cables to each other, but I'd need to strip the insulation from the cables on the wall and the lamp. Okay, plus and minus are exposed. I should be able to remove the insulation with this knife. Okay, I'll twist the wires from the lamp cord together with the wires from the electrical cable. Let there be light! Damn! Something's wrong with the lamp. Something's wrong... I think the contact is dirty. I was right. 
The lower contact is coated with rust. The current can't flow properly and sooner or later the bulb will burn out. <sighs> A big heavy roll of Huh, maybe I can... Yes, I can use it to rub the rust off. That should do it. One more try. There we go. If it wasn't so dusty, I could easily imagine someone had been using it. What kind of stories could... According to the blueprints, there's supposed to be a secret door here leading into the main hall. Huh, this must be the locking mechanism. Careful now. What the... What are you doing here? What if Inch sees you? No. I'm sorry. He... caught me. You and your little girlfriend. You thought you could go behind my back? Inch, no. You deserve to die, here and now. But then I wouldn't get the eye. Don't hurt her, please. We'll see. Get moving. And now... Cover to the chair. No! Patricia! Ah! Ah! No! Enough! You have one and only one chance of getting out of this alive. Do what I tell you to do. Tie her to the chair. Look at her. Remember this scene? If you try to screw me, then... What's the next step? What's the plan? Everything you need is in the bag. The eye will be delivered at any moment. You abseil from the roof into the treasure chamber. And the display case's alarm system? The alarm will go off, but I'll ensure that the only effect will be that the security barricades in the treasure chamber close. How will you manage that? Let me worry about that, just like the guards. You'll have several minutes to break into the display case and climb back to the roof. And once I have the jewel, what next? By the time I get back to the roof, the museum will be surrounded by policemen. Correct. Escaping from the museum is impossible. That means I stay inside the museum.
There's a bag in the basement with food and water for you and your girlfriend. I'm sure you'll find a way to pass the time for a couple of days. The police will search the whole city for the eye, but not the museum. And once the museum's open to visitors again, Patricia and I will walk out through the secret door in the main hall to our freedom. I'll be watching you every step of the way. You'll deliver the jewel, and then we'll never see each other again. How am I supposed to break into the display case? It's protected by bulletproof glass. You'll find everything you need in the bag. A clever fellow like you will know what to do with it. If we do everything you ask, will you let us go? I'm a poor loser, but a generous winner. How did you find out about our plan? By chance, I must admit. I hadn't anticipated it. I didn't think that you'd build up my trust for months just to betray me. You have to be patient if you want to steal the eyes of the Sphinx. A virtue youth normally lacks. It's a pity we have to go our separate ways after this little incident. I can hardly wait. Please, let Patricia go. You've got me. A fascinating young lady. Clever, skillful, beautiful. What's she doing with a chap like you? Are you sure you're not just a pawn in her game? Let her go. As soon as you bring me the second eye. The plan might work, I must admit. The plan will work. You'll see to that, or she'll suffer the consequences. Let's go. The clock is ticking. I have to take care of the guards and the alarm system. It'll all work out in the end. I know. Take care of yourself. If you should open this door without the Eye of the Sphinx in your bag, I'll shoot first and then ask what went wrong. You're not planning on letting us go, are you? I need a scapegoat. Otherwise, the traitor would already be dead. He doesn't understand because he doesn't think like you. You messed with the wrong man, and now you have to suffer the consequences. Huh. <sighs>